Oh my god. Oh. What is going on everybody? Another episode with AJ Barron, your freaking father on TikTok. If you seriously have not seen me on TikTok, we are at almost at 225,000 followers and growing. Today, I want to talk about what you're going to do after graduating high school. I feel like when I graduated high school, I remember that freaking day I was in my Corvette leaving graduation. Number one, feeling like a badass, but number two, most importantly, I was scared shitless. I realized my whole life just flashed before my eyes. I feel like I was in kindergarten like two days ago. Oh my God, what am I going to do after high school? Like life is going to start and it's going to feel scary, but it's okay. I'm going to make this video to tell you and guide you on what to do because I don't want you guys being scared like I was let me try to make this as simple as possible number one before we start understand that your whole point in life is number one to be happy of course you have to be happy but number two escaping the matrix and what I mean by this is the matrix is it's obviously it's not like a real thing we use it as a term uh, to help us get out of the nine to five you know the, the typical life where you go to college get a degree you go work for an employer you work you know, you get up at 7 a.m. and then get home at like 6 p.m. and you, you get a, like a $5,000 a month salary, you know, and then you work like 50, 60 years and then uh, boom, you retire and you have to live your life in the next 10 years when you're like 50, 60. You kind of have to like do all the fun stuff then in retirement when you're old and stinky. I don't want to do that, okay? So what I mean by escaping the matrix is I mean, I want you guys to have the freedom as soon as you are in your 20s and 30s so that you can go and do whatever you want to do and not be tied down by a job, you know, because that kills people. So this whole video is basically going to show you how to do that, to escape the matrix, which really means just escaping the typical nine to five, retiring at 60, you know, that, that that's not a thing anymore. We don't want it to make it a thing. First things first, what you got to do is number one get a freaking car okay you need a car now how do you it's not that simple to just get a car but it's okay i made a ton of videos on how to get a car on facebook marketplace for really cheap because you don't want to go and get a car loan at you know some dealership where they're gonna overcharge you and you're gonna have to pay you know four hundred dollars a month on a car payment that is a lot Understand, I don't want you guys to get a car payment because we are too young to have all this debt, all this monthly expenses. What I want you guys to learn is escaping the matrix is all about keeping your expenses low and making a lot of money so that eventually you can use that money that you're making, all the saved up money that you're making and put it away to buy assets and so that you guys can go get rich and all that yada, yada, yada. I'm gonna try to deter, like, I'm gonna try to turn you guys away. So don't go to a car dealership that's bringing on debt. You don't need that debt. If you get a $400 car payment, you are going to be stuck at working at a job. So go buy a car on Facebook, marketplace uh any like a honda civic five thousand dollars cash super super easy to do this guys you just go with the seller you know test drive the car make sure they have a clean title pay it cash go register the car made videos on that and boom you have a car why do you want a car because number one you have freedom to go and get a job and go drive yourself to work or you can go inside a start a side business you can do so many things with a car you can go to the gym you can make more friends and do stuff that's the first thing that you guys need to do after high school is if you, but the reason why I brought this first is because most people get a car from their parents. So it's like, it's like, okay, if you already got a car, great. I hope it's paid off. I hope they're going to let you keep it. First step is done out of the way. But if not, of course, go and buy a car for $5,000 on Facebook marketplace. It's a lot of people, I would say go and borrow a car from like your parents, like, or in the meanwhile, while you, you know, start working and stuff. But like, if you can, you know, borrow a car and then save up for your own car so that, you know, you can have your own car. Step number two, after you have your car, yes, you have more freedom. Yes, you can go and get a job. That's the second and the most important thing. If not, it's vice versa, getting a car or getting a job. Go get a job right after high school. If you are like 18, you know, 16, you know, 17, try to work at like Walmart where they're paying high, anything $20 an hour. We do not want to be working for, you know, $10 an hour. That's some bullshit. Try to get something that's like, you know, like maybe like 15 plus dollars an hour like get get some really good uh wage you know at, at 18 and try to work as much as possible if you're not going to go to college use all of your time after graduating high school to just freaking work and if you're working while you're in high school even better but save up as much money as possible because number one you'll be able to buy a car if you haven't yet or number two you can start which is my third thing is to go get a credit card number three now that you already have a job and you have a car you're pretty much an adult get a credit card. If you don't know what a credit card is, it is basically a debit card, except you are not spending your money. You are borrowing money off a card that the bank is pretty much giving you money to spend. And then all your, your job is to just go and spend it like a normal person. And then you would have to pay it back later with the money that you actually have either in cash or in uh, your debit card or in a bank account. 
the reason why you want to use credit is because number one credit allows you to buy a house in the future you cannot buy a house did you guys can you believe that you can't buy a house without a without credit okay it's not just using a credit card it's the fact that using the credit card builds up credit history meaning you're using credit card for months long term it, it shows that you know how to use credit that you're able to pay it off and it looks good to the bank so use it use a credit card uh, I've, I've done a bunch of videos you can go on like chase or like with an american express it's like you know really doesn't cost money to get a first credit card um and then you just start using it they're gonna give you like what 500 dollars credit card limit so you're gonna have 500 dollars on your credit card and then you just use it on gas food groceries and then you just pay it off at the end of the month if you pay it off at the end of the month that means your credit score is going to go up and you're gonna have credit history and you're gonna be able to buy a house then you can go and buy a card loan whenever you're really ready to or you can go and do other things with credit cards like financing a laptop for school i don't know or work you need credit please do not sleep on that when i turned 18 i freaking got my credit card as soon as possible but go tell your parents they can get you one before you're 18 put them on their credit line or you can just get your own now that you have a car a job and a credit card that is really good that is like the minimum that i think you should do when you focus after graduating high school personally i think the next step is to figure out okay i have money i have a car i got credit like i you should you should have like a lot of money saved up i think you should have like you know when you're 18 19 20 like at least save like 5k and this is after a car you should have like five or 10k in your bank account or it's like it's not that hard to save that much money you can save like two three hundred dollars per paycheck especially if you live with your parents but after that, if you have 10K, I would say this is a good starting point to look into moving out and living on your own. Now, I do not want you guys to move out. I actually want you guys to stay with your parents because your parents, hey, guess what? They're gonna take care of you because they're, they're your little babies. But if you don't wanna live with your parents, go and move out. I would recommend going out with a friend. So if you have a really good friend or you know somebody that wants to move out and is already working and has their own car and has a credit card that they're very smart like that, go and move out with them because you want to save as much money as possible in your 20s so that you can use that extra money that you save from being financially smart and ready for life to go and buy rental properties or to go and start a business or go or like and invest your money so that you can escape the matrix. This is the whole point is to escape the matrix. I'm trying to set you guys up to be good in life. Okay. So if you can move out with a friend so that you can split rent, it will be way better for you guys or go and live on your own. I live here in my beautiful wonderful apartment with my kittens do you guys see these freaking kittens it's a little expensive here in houston it's about a thousand dollars a month for me but you know it's what i wanted it's I, I make a pretty good money to afford it now before i really didn't move out with a friend split the rent it is way better plus you will learn how to like you know be an adult with somebody and you'll feel less scared to to live and pay bills um but paying bills and all that stuff comes naturally you will learn how to do it as you get your place but again if you're gonna get an apartment it's gonna be like a security deposit which is usually one month of the rent so if you pay a thousand dollars a month for that apartment they're gonna ask you for a thousand dollars up front plus your first month's rent so that'd be like 2k um, and then you will need credit history, uh, work history. That's why I told you guys to get a job beforehand so they can see that you've been working. See, uh, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm trying to put this in, in order for you guys. So it's very easy. Uh, but now that you have an apartment, uh, the next step would be like, hey, maybe you should go to school. Uh, personally, I am in school. The only reason I am in school is because I get my school for free. I get financial aid. I, I don't pay for school and I get money for going to school. So I just do it because like, hey, why not? Like if I can get a free degree, why not? I'm in business school. If you guys want to get into school, then hey, only go to school, in my opinion, for something crazy like a doctor or a, you know, a freaking uh, a doctor, lawyer, you know, engineer, something that like genuinely, if you have a degree in that field, you're going to get a job because like people are actually needing people like you. I wouldn't go and get an art degree. I wouldn't go and get, you know, like some some like you know some bs degree even a general business degree like that's not that like you're not suitable enough to get a job right after graduating if you just get a normal degree unless you get your internships and stuff like that but go to school if you know damn well when you graduate someone's gonna freaking hire you off the bat but if not you don't have to go to school the whole point now is like now that you're like grounded with an apartment you have your you're building your credit the whole main point now is to like Focus on how to make money in the long run and get into an industry in the long run so that you can build a career out for yourself. Now you see people who are making, you know, $10,000 a month plus, they started a business or they're in a field of study that they went to school for and they've been doing it for so long that they've been so good at it and now they're getting paid for all of these skills. You need to focus on that in your 20s, okay? It's like, find a skill that you know you're damn well good at 
uh, for me, like, you know, like I, I started doing videos and I'm making 10K a month from YouTube videos and TikTok. So like, that's my skill. And I realized this is my, this is something that I need to stick with long-term if I want to succeed in it long-term and make money in it long-term, right? Also, I'm a real estate agent. I decided, hey, I'm not, I don't think college is for me, but I know I can make a lot of money selling real estate. Or, you know, even if you want to become a car salesman, that you can make a lot of money doing that because that is a long-term thing that you can do to make money, right? So focus on that as your last step, in my opinion, is like focus on a way that you can make money and also not be capped out by a salary. So that's why I personally don't agree with the schooling side because like if you get a job by an employer, they're gonna cap you at like maybe four or 5,000. I mean, if, you, if you're a doctor, you're gonna get way, paid way more, but again, you're trading your whole time, you're in a nine to five for that money. So what I'm trying to teach you guys is like, hey, be financially smart so that you don't spend a lot of money so that that way you have more extra money to put away for building a business so that you can actually go and make 10K a month and not have to be in an office all day. Cause that's, that's, that's gonna help you be happy in life. And that's what I told you, the number one, the number one thing you wanna do is be happy in life. And in, in my opinion, I don't wanna be freaking locked up in a freaking jail cell, I mean, sorry, a job, you know what I'm saying? Like my whole life, I don't wanna be like that. But I know damn well that if I keep my expenses low and be financially smart and stick to a business for a long time, I can make money, put away the money t to buy assets and to, you know, you guys know assets generate you money. That's what an asset is. That's the whole goal. So I can have more free time and I have money so I can go and do stuff and, you know, figure out what my purpose is and all that stuff, you know? So anyways, I want to keep it short, but that is pretty much my game plan. If I were to, you know, if you guys want to get ready after high school and this is, you want to set yourself up, this is a really good starting point. I hope this guy's like really put some ease into your stresses and worries about life. Don't be stressed out. Life is good. Life is always good. Sometimes your life situation is going to be shitty. You know, you'll go in debt or you'll lose a job, but life will always be good. And do not forget that. Okay. I love life. You will love life. Why am I becoming a philanthropist right now? <laughs> but yes, guys, thank you guys so much for the TikTok support. Uh, we have 225,000. Thank you for the YouTube support. I'm trying to post more and more. I'm just trying to get my shit together. But of course, guys, thank you for everything. And I will see y'all. Oh my God. Why is she crying? I will see you. They're fighting. <laughs> I will see y'all in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>